Have you got your exercise mat? You don't need it. I'm Penny Reeve and we're doing writing warm-ups for kids. In today's writing warm-up, I'm going to teach you a strategy that I use almost every day in my writing life, especially to get my creative muscles working and to get the words flowing from my brain onto the page. Free writing is kind of like when you're just thinking and you know how sometimes you think about one thing and it leads you to thinking about another thing and then you end up thinking about something completely different and then something altogether different? Well that's what free writing is except it's thinking on the page. I do a lot of writing. I write children's books, I write articles, I do all sorts of writing but you know even I have days where I sit down and I just can't think of anything. And that's why free writing really helps because it helps warm up the writing parts of our brain. Sometimes if I'm having a bad writing day, I will literally sit down and just start free writing like this. Today, I need to write a chapter, but I don't know what to write about and I'm not sure what my characters are going to do. Maybe they could and I just start writing my ideas down onto the page. The good thing about free writing is that you don't need to worry about spelling, you don't need to worry about punctuation, about grammar, it doesn't have to be neat. The trick is just to keep writing until your time is up. When I sit down to free write before I am doing some serious writing, I might free write for 10 or 15 minutes. And that can be hard. Sometimes my ideas don't start flowing till I've been sitting there for five minutes. But as a writing warm-up for today, we're just going to do some really short free writing so you can have the experience and see what it's like. And it might be something that you like to use to warm up your writing when you have to do some writing as well. So what about if we try the first one? What if we think about something, what could we write about? Are you feeling hungry? Maybe we could write about chocolate. I mean, you might have even read a book about chocolate. Or maybe a book about a chocolate factory or a lolly shop or someone who invents all kinds of... Can you see what happened there? Can you see how my ideas just started bouncing off each other? That's what free writing does. It's ideas bouncing off each other, but you're writing them down. So what if we said, what I love most about, and I put in my favourite chocolate, is, and then I just wrote. What do you think I might come up with? How about I practice for you and I'll free write for 30 seconds only and I'll read it to you as I'm writing so you can see what free writing is like. What I love most about my favourite chocolate. I think I'm going to choose mint chocolate. Okay, I've got my timer and it's set for 30 seconds. Okay, you ready? Go. What I love most about mint chocolate is the way it is sort of melt in your mouth but also crunchy like peanut butter. So you're just writing and you're not stopping. And I might have just kept going and writing about peanut butter and about the squirrels that live in the trees or I could have written about anything. Free writing is free. And the cool thing is you don't even have to show anybody your free writing. I mean, other than today in our writing workshop with you, normally I don't show anyone my free writing. It's just about me warming up my brain and my writing muscles. How about we try that one, another one? We'll try that one together this time. What if we wrote for one minute free writing about our favourite kind of chocolate or sweet? I wonder what chocolate or sweet you might choose. I'm going to have to choose a different one because I already wrote about mint chocolate. And I think I might write about gooey caramel. Okay, so I'm going to set my timer for one, whoops, not one second, one minute. Okay, and we're all of us are going to warm up our writing brain by writing what I love most about is. Now, if you start writing about 
mint chocolate or sweet, sweet caramel chocolate and you just end up talking about something else, that's totally okay. All right, it's just about keep writing until the timer goes off in one minute. All right, what I love most about, ready, go. How did you go? Were you able to keep writing all the way until the buzzer went? I did. My free writing is a bit interesting. Would you like me to read it to you so you can see what I wrote? Because it's okay if it doesn't make sense and I don't think this makes sense. <laughs> what I love most about gooey caramel chocolate is the way the caramel, it's hard to read because I wrote so messy, but that's okay is the way the caramel sticks to my fingers and gets all over the place like the back of the chair where my brother sits when he was telling me all about his cricket match and how the dragons flew over from Scotland to Sydney to take over the opera house. <laughs> you know, I didn't use a single full stop in that. And that's okay in free writing. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about spelling. You don't have to worry about punctuation or anything. It's just about warming up your creative writing muscles. Do you want to do another one? Let's do another one, but let's make it a little bit harder. I've got a different prompt for you this time. What if we did my least favourite food is such and such because... Do you know what your least favourite food is? I think I'm going to write about anchovies. Mm, I don't really like anchovies. So I'm going to start writing about free anchovies and see what happens as I free write. But this time we're going to warm up a little bit harder and we're going to do two minutes. Reckon you can write free write for two minutes? Let's see, I'll set my timer. Two minutes. There it is. See, two minutes. What my least favourite food is because. Start with that and see what you get. Ready, set, write.
How did you go? Two minutes is a bit harder than one minute, isn't it? I'll tell you, my free writing doesn't make any sense at all. I started talking about mushrooms and anchovies and ended up talking about a storyteller sitting on the top of a hill. Free writing is a really great warm-up. I hope your creative brain is feeling all warmed up now and ready to start writing. I know mine is. I will see you next time. Happy writing.